Hey, what's up, Christian here, and today I'm gonna show you how to do a smart pop-up on your Shopify site. Let's get started. So I do wanna start by saying that some themes out there do offer a pop-up version of what we're gonna talk about today, but I would say it's the dumb version of a pop-up because you don't have the ability to customize the timing or if you show the pop-up on certain pages, etc. So what we want to do is add an app that will take over some of that stuff and i'm going to also show you how to create a cart abandonment pop-up so that when the customer is leaving the checkout page or the cart page the pop-up shows up saying hey we can offer you a discount don't leave us yet so it's a little bit more proactive than again shopify's built-in tools which allow you to create a abandoned cart email so whenever they fully exit of that they actually get sent an email um, with it, but this will be more intent based. So if they're about to leave, it will recognize it and it will show them a pop up right there. So let's get started by adding the app that we're talking about, which is Sumo, which we talked about on several videos before. We're going to click on customize your store so we can go search for this app. We're going to type in Sumo and it's going to be the very first one. It's going to see Sumo, Foods Conversion and Sales by Sumo with a little white crown or it could be a paper boat nobody knows add the app perfect now what we're going to do is we're going to click on sign up and it needs our store url so we're going to grab that from here and copy that and paste it right there our email address um let's see let me create one because i know we have a few accounts already created so i don't want to mess this up um, and I know we don't have one for my, so let's do this, sign up. And it will actually make you uh, select a service, but we don't have to do that because I believe if you click on that, yeah, it will just open, which it did already, it opened a, uh, the app store again. So we've already done that. So what we wanna do is copy and paste the following before the body tag of your HTML. So we're gonna click on that. That means that we've copied it to our store or our clipboard, sorry. We're then we're gonna to go to online store and then themes. We're gonna do actions, edit code. And then we're gonna to go to the theme.liquid. And then in here, what we can do actually is click control or if you have a Mac, Command F, and then search for the closing body tag, which is going to be typically, yeah, it's going to be right at the right at the end. We're going to click Enter, Enter, and then Control or Command Paste. That's going to insert the Sumo code that we just grabbed. We're going to click on Save, and we're going to go back here to Sumo and say Start using Sumo. And there we have it. So initially it's gonna say like, yeah, we created this um, very simple and basic form to start collecting emails right away. Um, I'm gonna click on edit that particular one. So I can show you how the back end of building the form or the pop-up works. So, and this will be the same if you were to click on forms right here at the top and then click on create a new form, right? So for this particular case, we're gonna do collect email addresses. And then the form type, um, here's where you select a pop-up, which I would recommend to do a pop-up. Um, I would steer away from welcome mats. Those are, according to Google, dis too disruptive. Now, before we move on, I just wanna say welcome to everyone new. My name is Christian Pignon, one of the co-founders here at Bit Branding. We've been helping frustrated store owners since 2015 become impactful store owners through tutorials, tactics, and strategies. And the one way that you can support our channel is by hitting that subscribe button and turning on notifications. So Sumo will create an automatic form. It's a very simple form. So we're gonna click on edit on that one, just so you can see what it looks like in the back end. I'm gonna go back to step number one, which is your goal. We're gonna collect email addresses. That's what we wanna do here. The form type, we want it to be a pop-up. You do have some other options for all these, so you can actually create different things for, for your website, depending on your needs. Then the design, the current template right now is just the default, um, but they do have some other ones that 
basically you have to pay for the pro version to get all the other ones. Um, let me see if they have anything. Yeah, I believe all of them are locked. But that doesn't mean that you can't necessarily make changes to this particular form because you can actually go in here and as you can see, you can actually make this bigger if you wanted to. You can select different layers and move them around and you can actually add new things like image, background image, uh, social buttons, check box, drop downs. So there's a lot of things that you can do um, within this right here to actually design it. Uh, do keep in mind that this over here on the left hand side changes based on what you have clicked on. So if you click on this heading right here, this text, this will give me uh, options to change that particular text. So it will give me options to change the font, the sizing, text align, etc. So it's pretty powerful as far as all the changes that you can make to it. Um, but again, it might be a little bit of a learning curve when you're going through this the first time, trying to figure out, okay, where where are the settings, right? So when you click on it, the settings on the left-hand side change. We can go back over here and we'll go back to the main design template. Now, uh, once you've designed your, your pop-up how you want it, or if you paid for the Pro Sumo version, you're able to use some of the templates and that will give you a starting point um, to design better, um, better forms then you wanna click on the visibility. The visibility, you have two options, the smart mode, which uh, will automatically take care um, of, of when, the time and place of, of showing the form, or you can do manual mode. And this is where I believe Shopify's capabilities sort of stop, um, even with the design actually. You have a very limited set of things that you can do with the design. So this is a little bit more powerful when it comes to the design and when it comes to the visibility. So you can do things like the user leaves. So show before a user leaves your page. So it says if a visitor hasn't seen a pop-up in one month, um, then use, you know, whenever they leave the, the with their cursor, then show that pop-up or you can do timed. So you can control exactly when the pop-up appears. So uh, you can say show the pop-up after five seconds if a visitor hasn't seen the pop-up in one month. Um, other rules in here, you can display the show or don't show on different pages. So you can actually control what pages this pop-up shows up. And if we click on show advanced settings, um, you have a few toggles in here to potentially show to users who have already subscribed. If you wanna keep showing the same pop-up to users who have subscribed, which you don't wanna do that. Um, and then hide from users who's opted out. So if they didn't subscribe, do we keep showing the same thing over and over? Maybe you can toggle that on so that you don't keep bombarding them with something that they don't want. Let me click on next. Um, oh, let me go back real quick. The design is very important that once you design the subscribe one, there's this other one over here, which is the success one. So don't leave, leave this one blank like this. You wanna make sure that you make a little bit of changes to, to this one as well to match your branding or whatever you created for the actual subscribe pop-up. So once they click on subscribe now, they will be taken to this other one right here where they have to click off. Um, let's go back over here to success. And then in the success, Sumo actually has the, the, the ability to uh, send the emails and send the automatic email responders and all that stuff. You don't necessarily have to do any of this stuff right here if you already have a email service. So if you have an email service provider like MailChimp, Pay Monitor, Aweber, et cetera, um, Klaviyo is a very popular one with Shopify users, then you just connect it through that app and then your third-party email service will take care of sending the emails and doing all that, um, all that stuff. So once you've done uh, doing everything in here, we can publish that. Now that is the sort of simple email pop-up to just collect email addresses from your store. Now I do wanna remind everyone, if you're liking this video so far, make sure you hit that like button. We we'll appreciate that. Now, another thing that you can do here within Sumo and pop-ups is to create an abandoned cart uh, pop-up. So in order to do that, um, you can't go, for some reason, you can't do it through here to the forms. We have to go through monetize and then create shortcuts. So we're gonna create our new shortcut. And then in here, you have actually several options in here. You can do a grow email list. You can reduce the bank candle rent. So that's the one that we're gonna do, reduce cart abandonment. Create this shortcut. And then in here, the setup process is gonna look a little bit different, but it's gonna be maybe a little bit easier and less uh, cluttered than just creating the simple form. So on this one, you have the ability to um, maybe not edit it as much as the other one, 
but it still gives you exactly what you need. So if you wanna offer a 10% off or a uh, free shipping or an actual dollar sign amount, um, you can do that right here. So free shipping is actually pretty popular. So you can get free shipping on this order right now, which is very important and very cool what they do here. So um, I'm not gonna change any of the uh, settings in here. I'm gonna click next. And then on the pop-up form, the success form, right? This will automatically give them a very unique code just for them. So you don't have to worry about creating new codes or having the same code and then being online everywhere and people using them. This will actually create a, a very uh, generic, but at the same time, unique code for that particular person only, which is very, very important. Um, and it's very cool because they, it creates it right there on the spot so that that person who just signed up or subscribed to you, they can use that for that particular order. It's not something that they have to use in a future order or anything like that. So they can actually click on that button and copy it right there. And this automatically sends them an email with that uh, code as well. Now, if they don't see that right away where they can actually copy that code from there, the smart bar uh, form uh, will show at the very top saying the actual discount. So they can, it will always be present when they're going through the checkout process. And so you have the opportunity to also change the email, what the email says and how it says it and who is it coming from, etc. And then you can also see the uh, display setting rules. So um, by default, it's gonna be on URLs containing cart, checkout, or checkouts. And if your store has something different than that, then you can add those containing, uh, those words, right, that are part of the URL um, right here on this setting right here. I click on next. And then here's where, it, yeah, it's already connected to our Shopify. We're gonna do, oh, we're gonna do, our little bits of trees for copy. Let me get rid of the HTTPS. Confirm. All right, so now we're actually connected. I'm gonna click on next. And then here's where you have the opportunity to, for this particular um, cart and form, uh, connect your uh, email service provider in here. We're just gonna leave Sumo in there. Now, before I show you how this looks, I wanna tell you about our free masterclass training that will walk you through the five pillars that must be in place for your online store to scale consistently and profitably, no matter what's going on in the world. Make sure to check that link in the description below. Now that we have this turned on, I wanna see how this looks. So let's see if we did everything correctly here. Let's go to our store and let's add some dry bones. Super tasty, five bucks, can't beat that. And then let's click on view cart and checkout. I really wanna make sure that this works. So right now this sh should work if my cursor leaves the, uh, the actual page. So let's see, we're about to leave. Nope, that, that one didn't work. Let's go to checkout. And we may have to do an incognito. Um, it could be it could be that smart, you know, where it actually recognizes that I'm logged into my own account. So okay, see so there we have the word checkouts. Um, okay, let's let's go do an incognito. So let's do incognito window. Little bits of treats. Oops, not the admin. So, all right, so let's do the same thing. Let's go to our bones. And let's add that to cart. All right, let's try it on this page. Oh, there we go. It is pretty smart. So get free shipping on this order right now. Enter your email below. So let's just do, let's use Franklin's. That way Franklin will get this email. He'll be like, why am I getting some discounts for dog bones? Now you know Franklin. I'm gonna hit submit and there we go. Click the button below to copy the discount. You can copy it right here and then continue to check out. Hmm, I see the problem here. We hit a little snafu. Um, we have to connect our domain, so we haven't done that yet, but we will, we will. So the code, the way it works is uh, you have to have a custom domain in order for this to kind of go through. 
So um, since we don't have a custom domain for a little bit's treats website, which is pretty unfortunate because we should just buy, you know, a domain, make this a real website. Um, I'll be that would make my heart very happy. It would make Piper's heart very happy and Harley's as well. So um, either way, let me see if uh, if I can get to the checkout through here, not through the um, pop up. Um, okay, now I do want to test this, make sure that the discount works. I'm gonna paste that discount and hit apply. Boom, there you go. Discount, free shipping has been applied. All right. So there you have it. That's how you create smart pop-ups with Sumo installed on your Shopify store. Don't forget to leave a comment below if you have any questions about what we talked about today, or if you have any ideas on maybe creating different pop-ups and different things like that. Um, I would love to hear it, and I would love to make follow-ups to all the videos that, that I create. So again, if you have any ideas or any questions, let me know down below, because all this content that I'm creating is for you guys and it's for your benefit, so please let me know. We appreciate you. Thank you. On to the next one.